So recently Danielle Cohen admitted to having lied about being Hispanic, but the ethnicities that she claims to be now, it'll blow your mind. Yo, what's going on YouTube, it's Adam Steph and you guys. So in my last video, we took a look at Danielle Cohn's god-awful excuse of a Spanish song. You need to stop everything. This needs to stop. Now! You know, if you're gonna make a song in Spanish, then you should really learn how to speak the language first. Honestly, I think Danielle created her own language for her song Bailamos because the entire Hispanic community couldn't even understand her. First she lied about her age, then she lied about her pregnancy, then she lied about her sexuality, and now she lied about her gender. She claimed herself to be the Latino queen, which pretty much means a male queen, so a guy that's a queen. I mean, it is Pride Month, so congratulations on coming out as a boy. Like, how do you call yourself the Latino queen? even though you're not Latino. That's honestly just such a low thing to do and very disrespectful. The Latino community truly deserves an apology from her. Anyway guys, for today's video, we got an action packed one. We're gonna be looking at Danielle having admitted to lying about being Hispanic, and then we're gonna be reacting to a bit of her new song called Do It Better. But just before we get into this, I'm really hoping to reach 100,000 subscribers by the end of this year. So if y'all can leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already, it truly would mean a lot. Okay, so about a week ago, Danielle did a live stream on TikTok where she admitted to not being Hispanic. Very sorry for that, but I recently saw my dad's nationalities, or like his like- Yeah, his nationalities. Yeah, so, yeah. But is, I'm sorry for Arabic. lying to you guys. I was just being lied to by my dad, so. Did I really just hear Mikey Tua say that Danielle was Arabic? Sorry He's for Arabic. lying to you guys. I was Actually, that would explain why Bailamo Stranger had an Egyptian vibe to it. <laughs> but on a real note, Danielle, Mikey, you realize that Arabic is a language and not a country, right? And is Danielle really placing the blame on her father to cover up the fact that she made four songs in Spanish and appropriated the Hispanic culture? She wasn't even raised by her father. She was raised by her mother who would very well know if Danielle was Hispanic or not. So no, you can't blame your father for lying to you when you were raised by your mother. This is just sad how Danielle and her mother can never take the blame on themselves. They were extremely offensive to the Hispanic community but instead of owning up to what they did, they instead put the blame on innocent people. Wait, so you're Arabic and then there was one, uh, one Indian. Your, your mommy's friends. Yeah, um, I French. guess my dad is like mixed with, like he's like Indian. white, Indian, and Arabic, and then my mom is French. White, Arabic, and Indian. Interesting. I think she means Arab since Arabic is a language, but even with that, Arab is a region with 22 countries, including Syria, Saudi Arabia, Egypt, so which one are you? Like, how many places is this girl gonna claim she's from? Is she really claiming that she's from all 22 countries right now? This girl really just claimed that she's white, Arabic, and Indian. So you said a race, a language, and then a country. That makes no sense. This girl really has no idea what she's talking about right now. I swear, if I earned $5 for every country that this girl says she's from, I could probably afford a brand new MacBook. First she said she's Spanish. For all of you guys saying that I'm racist because I'm just white, I'm actually half Spanish. So I'm, I'm not being racist towards Diego because we're literally like the same race. Then she says she's Cuban and now she says she's Arabic and Indian. This is just getting ridiculous. Now that this girl thinks she's 0.01% Indian or Arab, honestly, it wouldn't surprise me if she starts collabing with T-Series and starts making Indian remixes to popular songs. Yeah, Arab. Arab, okay. yeah. But I'm just Same saying, difference. like, it's like, yeah. It says I, Arabic like, on I'm the not thing. from there. Too. Did her mom really just say that she's the mini Kim Kardashian? Well, I mean, they're almost as dramatic as the Kardashians, that's for sure. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna listen to a 13-year-old. Nah, shut up. I hope they realize that Kim is Dutch, 
English, Irish, Scottish, and Armenian. None of those are Arab countries. Now, some Armenians do speak Arabic, but that doesn't mean that they're Arab. That's like saying Germans are French because they speak French, or Italians are Spanish because they speak Spanish. Just because you speak the language, doesn't mean that you're from there. Honestly, this family really just hurts my brain. Like, can someone please get them a geography lesson? Yeah, we were all sitting in the car and she goes, wait, I'm Arabic. <laughs> I was like, yeah. Arab? Arab, 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 yeah. Whatever, it's your hair, everything. Did she really just say that explains Danielle's hair? Whatever, it's your hair, everything. You're joking, right? Danielle's natural hair color isn't even black, it's blonde. Aside from people who dye their hair, what Arab or Indian do you know that has naturally blonde hair? I know a lot of Arabs and Indians, but personally, I don't know any with natural blonde hair. Honestly, Danielle changes her ethnicity every few months. The next thing you know in September, Danielle Cohen is gonna come out as Korean and pull an Ollie London and start making K-pop music. Speaking of music, Danielle recently released a music video for a new song titled Do It Better. No, God, please, no! Don't worry, don't worry. This time it's not in Spanish. There's only lions and other innocent animals chained up as she is screaming pure autotune into her ears and making them bleed. It's ironic how the song is called Do It Better, but she's literally chaining up animals. How is that doing it any better? So the disgusting nature of this music video is starting to receive so much attention that even an animal rights organization called PETA, which stands for People for the Ethical Treatment of Animals, went as far as to comment on her Twitter post. Animals want you to do it better by not exploiting them for likes and views. There's nothing cute or romantic about chained animals being forced to film your music video. Please have a heart and stop supporting cruel places that profit from abuse. That's facts right there. I couldn't have said it any better. I don't know what chaining up these innocent animals and hold them captive. Honestly, how does that make the video any more attractive to watch? It, it, it literally doesn't. So I know that you're all dying to see what the music video is all about. So let's take a look. So at a first glance, the song itself seems like a bit of an improvement from Bailamos, which was just a god-awful excuse of a Spanish song. But the poor animals, man. Why? Just why? It's not appropriate at all for Danielle, who's an influence to a lot of young children, to be promoting this kind of stuff on the internet. Her using these chained up animals in her music video doesn't make it any more appealing for me to watch. No, 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 stop. Autotune has officially entered the chat. Look, so far the song, it's not too bad. Like, I've seen worse from her. I like the flow, the song has a nice uplifting vibe to it, and it definitely shows more potential compared to some of her previous songs. But that high notes, that just wasn't it. And God damn, how many tattoos does this girl have? She's only 14 years old and she's already on her way to looking like 6'9 with the amount of body art that she has. Okay, okay. I have no idea what she just said. Look, her vocals, they're starting to improve a bit, but her pronunciation, it needs a lot of work. By Lamos, that was honestly more like Spanglish than Spanish. But this song, it's supposed to be English, but honestly, I don't know if she's saying real words at all. This song is what English sounds like for people who don't speak English. All I could understand from that bit that we just listened to was when she said Fiesta. I don't know if you guys remember that song, Chacaron. <laughs> Yeah, well, that song is probably easier to understand than this song. I am lost. Like, honestly, I need some type of vocabulary map. I don't know if that's a thing, but you know what? She, she made it a thing. She made it a thing now. It's now a thing because I have no idea what this girl is saying at all. And again, those poor animals. I'm not saying that chaining up animals is okay, but if you do decide to chain up animals, make it for a good reason. But chaining it for a crappy, high auto-tune, wannabe Disney music video, 
that's just not it. Anyway, guys, I had enough of reacting to the song, so that's gonna do it for this video. I really hope that you did enjoy, and if you did, be sure to leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already. What do you think about everything going on? Do you think that the Hispanic community deserve a proper apology from Danielle Cohn? What do you think of this song? Do you agree with the animals being chained up or not? Let me know in the comment section down below. I'm gonna be replying to a bunch of comments, hearting a bunch of them. But anyway, that's officially gonna do it for this video. And until next time, it's been Ivan Steph. Peace. Who ready for this hobby? Claim you don't love me yet, I'm always.